The creator observing violence learned rolling articulator, the Cobra, has been developed by a team of Northeastern University students as part of NASA's Big Idea Challenge. Our system is a modular snake-inspired robot with 11 degrees of freedom, built with the intent of exploring Shackleton Crater in the lunar south pole. To traverse the terrain, Cobra will sidewind to travel through the lunar regolith and tumble down the steep crater slopes, allowing it to cover large distances with minimal power consumption. So, without further ado, welcome to Cobra. The modularity of COBRA is one of its strengths. Each joint module is simple and interchangeable, allowing for rapid prototyping and building of the system. In every module is an actuator, battery, and voltage regulator. The system consists of 10 joint modules alternately connected and an 11th payload module containing a Raspberry Pi computer and any other instruments for research applications. To support our mobility solutions, we designed external geometries to create the optimal module shape for both sidewinding and tumbling configurations. Ultimately, a square geometry was fabricated for COBRA to both increase surface area during tumbling and also protect the onboard electrical system. COBRA's head module features an active latching mechanism that interfaces with the tail module to form a connection prior to tumbling. A small actuator within the head module drives a central gear which then rotates four latching fins, causing them to fan outward. Once tumbling is complete, the fins retract and the head and tail modules unlatch from each other. To protect Cobra from fine particles entering its joints, we developed a sheath that covers it from head to tail. The tubular sheath is made of a neoprene fabric, which does not hinder side winding nor tumbling, while having a tight seam and pores that do not allow for particles such as sand to enter the system and cause the joints to seize. Each module of Cobra is powered by an 850 milliamp, 14.8 volt LiPo battery. This battery is connected to a voltage regulator, which outputs 12 volts to the power input of the actuator. The data pins are wired in a daisy chain fashion to allow for full communication from head to tail. Since the power system is separate from the daisy chain, Cobra is resilient to the failure of one or more modules. In the head module, the Raspberry Pi and latching actuator are powered with a single LiPo and wired in parallel through a 5 volt voltage regulator. The Pi controls the motors with the U2D2 motor controller, which is connected via micro USB. With modular capabilities, we were able to conveniently isolate joint movements to produce useful robotic configurations that include hex, spiral, sidewinding, and crawl. To allow for the greatest forward rolling movement that aligns with our mission scenario, a hexagonal formation was configured. Here, Cobra approximates a closed circular loop that allows it to efficiently harvest gravitational potential energy when going down crater slopes. An alternative to hexagonal formation is spiral, which, especially for extended modules, allows for greater tumbling stability. Where tumbling is primarily for downward mobility, crawl and sidewinding allow for flat and inclined terrain movement. In these configurations, Cobra mimics locomotion similar to snakes. Our software suite contains a set of driver and controller classes to encapsulate movements like sidewinding, halting, and transformations. We also have a text-based interface to control the snake through a remote device. For integration testing, our team developed mock classes which not only were crucial for team members working remotely, but also helped us identify potentially hardware-breaking bugs without risking damage to the physical prototype. As shown, we have verified each step of Cobra's mission on the moon. First, sidewinding from the lander to the edge of Shackleton Crater. Next, connecting head to tail to transform into tumbling mode. Then, lastly, tumbling down the crater's slope to perform measurements of water ice at the bottom. With this demonstration, we believe Cobra is ready for further development and use on the moon as soon as 2024.